We live in a world where many things our predecessors did not know or were confused by have been explained by modern medicine, astronomy, and advanced science. And yet, the more answers we obtain, the less we truly know. Today, here at Unexplained Mysteries, we'll be taking a look at three extraordinary discoveries that leave us with more questions than answers. Glacier blood could be key to understanding the impacts of climate change. It's no secret that climate change is a serious dilemma, but as problematic as it is, there is a shocking amount about it that we do not understand. On the French Alps at the top of the mountains lies a phenomenon known as glacier blood. These crimson patches can stretch for miles and resemble a murder scene from a gruesome horror movie. The Vermilion glaciers are actually microalgae that were discovered by scientists during their time spent searching the Alps for intriguing microbacteria and algae. This particular expedition was titled the Alp Alga Project and was created with studying mountain creatures in mind, specifically those inhabiting the Alps 1,000 to 3,000 meters above sea level. Microalgae exist in countless places on Earth and they are a fundamental food source for various ecosystems from mountains to oceans and rivers. Eric Marischal, the director of the Institute for Cell and Plant Physiological Sciences, as well as the coordinator of the Alp Alga Consortium, has stated the severity of global warming and climate change is affecting the algae and the ecosystems for which they provide. Marischal explained that while the majority of people are aware of the existence of oceanic algae, they are unaware of their presence on the heights of mountaintops and in highlands. Same as the sea, but in snow, ice, said Marischal, who saw the algae for himself back in 2019. Microalgal cells are incredibly tiny creatures that are only tenths of thousands of inches in size. That is the equivalent of thousandths in a single millimeter. Microalgae can survive either as individuals or in large groups, otherwise known as colonies, and are known to feed off the sun using photosynthesis, a process used by plants and other forms of microscopic bacteria and organisms to collect energy from the sun. The algae collect the sunlight and produce sugar. In the words of Marischal, and whether algae grows in liquid waters or in compressed snow in the mountains, all ecosystems eat it directly and indirectly. The reason for the algae's crimson shading is due to a mixture of chlorophyll, a chemical that is required for photosynthesis, and carotenoid, which gives carrots their orange glow and other vegetables orange to red colors. The mix between the two compounds resulted in the algae inhibiting the French Alps, turning a deep red. The algae here require carotenoid because it is a defense mechanism against the radioactivity found in the highlands caused by extreme ultraviolet rays. Despite the fact that the algae blood glacier is now a known phenomenon, scientists are still at a loss about the specifics of the algae's ecology, and they are conducting ongoing theories and experiments to see how climate change affects them. But there is a theory that suggests the more frequent the red snow, the more damage it can do to the surrounding environment. A study from 2016 claimed that the crimson snow melts at a faster rate than normal, due to a lack of light reflectance, which led some researchers to believe that the algae are markers of climate change, since they can showcase the rising levels of CO2 in the air with their growth. Unfortunately, we do not know for sure whether the increased amount of red snow is a direct result of global warming and climate change, but the probability is immense and microbiologists are on a mission to research these algae until they reach a final conclusion. Earth has a 27.5 million year heartbeat, but we don't know what causes it. Mother Earth is a mysterious force to be reckoned with. As much as we love to honor ourselves as a great species, we have only existed for a tiny portion of the Earth's current lifespan. There is a reason why ancient pagan societies all over the classical world viewed our beloved planet as a maternal force of divinity. It provides for us, gives us food and resources we can use for our survival and leisure. Whereas in the past our ancestors revered the elements and the power they had over them in fear and fascination, we have taken a stance of control. We like to believe we are in power, but the earth, nature and all chemicals and creatures have existed before we even evolved. Nature has a mind of its own. 
it does its own thing and cares little for humans. And as it turns out, the Earth has a heartbeat and a pulse which has existed for about 260 million years. Currently, there is a lack of explanation as to why this is, but a research team from the University of New York has been carrying out the study with Michael Rapino, a geologist, as the team's leader. This heartbeat is not the kind we are accustomed to. Rather, it is a title given to recurring clusters of phenomena and events. Events such as mass extinction, where major life forms on Earth perish. Past mass extinctions have occurred simultaneously with the Earth's pulse. Generally, whenever there is one major catastrophe happening, it is followed by other minor disasters, volcanic eruptions, fluctuating sea levels, magma spewing from the Earth's crust, among other things. The study concluded that this heartbeat and pulse has repeated various times in a cycle during the past 260 million years, but there is no scientific reason as to why that is. Scientists are baffled by the cycle's existence. The knowledge that our planet, which provides for us, also harshly punishes us and takes away what she has given is frightful to be sure, but there is no need to worry at the moment as the next predicted pulse is not supposed to occur for another 20 million years. In the last 260 million years, the dinosaurs roamed the Earth, became extinct, the original continent of Pangaea split into seven, and humans evolved into the civilizations we are today, and all through that time, natural disasters have hit harshly and cruelly, often all at once. Every 27.5 million years, the heartbeat repeats, and disastrous consequences repeat in its wake. Rampino addressed the fact that many geologists believe these events are simply random by assuring them that their study found a continuous cycle which occurs, historically, at the same time, too concise to be random. These geologic events are correlated and not random, says Rampino. Hubble Space Telescope takes another look at weird galaxy that seems to lack dark matter. Dark matter is one of the most mysterious things in our universe. It is invisible but has immense gravitational effects. It is, however, supposed to be everywhere, hidden in plain sight. And yet, despite how it is meant to make up most of the universe, astronomers in 2018 reported sightings of a strange galaxy which seemed to entirely lack dark matter. The concept shocked astronomers and many thought it impossible, but the cosmos never fails to astound. The initial finding was met with much skepticism, but after the galaxy named DF2 was checked using the Hubble Space Telescope, the hypothesis was confirmed and further investigations are being planned. Most galaxies form spirals or ellipticals such as the Milky Way or M87. DF2, however, works in never-before-seen ways, with researchers saying that it goes against everything we know about how the cosmos is supposed to work. DF2's density levels are astoundingly low, and it is an ultra-diffused galaxy. In short, it has the mass of a tiny galaxy, but it is far wider than it should be. All that matter is spread out. For example, DF2 is the size of our own Milky Way, but it has less than half its overall percentage of stars and planets. The best explanation for how vastly diffused the galaxy is would be the lack of dark matter to fill in the cracks. It is important to note that astronomers are split in opinion over this discovery. Some argue that the data still is not conclusive enough to warrant any real consideration and that the astronomy team miscalculated the distance of the galaxy which accounts for the faulty recorded brightness. Fewer stars mean that less of DF2's gravity could be accounted for by visible matter, and therefore dark matter would surely atone for the remainder of the gravity. But such claims were disproven with the second analysis of DF2. Dark matter itself is a subject of intrigue, with various theories as to what it is made of. Scientists believe that dark matter is made of axions, a particle that has not been proven to exist, but it might be, or primordial remains of black holes. Either way, our knowledge of dark matter begins and ends at the simple fact that we know it is there. Peter van Dockham, one of the researchers, stated about the discovery. For almost every galaxy we look at, we say that we can't see most of the mass because it's dark matter. What you see is only the tip of the iceberg with Hubble. But in this case, what you see is what you get. Hubble really shows the entire thing. That's it. 
it's not just the tip of the iceberg, it's the whole iceberg. The new information proves that DF2 is further than initially believed, making dark matter even less likely to exist in the galaxy. Now the argument of distance miscalculation, though still somewhat prominent, is very unlikely. The mystery will surely continue for years to come before we are graced with the truth. We are constantly reaching for new knowledge. It is within our very nature to comprehend, but we must deal with the potential that there are things beyond our understanding. But what do you make of these strange discoveries? Be sure to let us know your thoughts in the comment section below and help us by growing this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.